The country's public transport sector is at the mercy of world market forces that ultimately determine the cost of crude at the pump. And after three weeks in a row of fuel price hikes, the nation's GP drivers are banging the table once again, seeking relief and help from government with their earnings shrinking to sub-survival levels. Our Karen Villanda fills us in with more. Lito used the 5 peso and 20 peso coins he has been saving to load 500 pesos worth of diesel to the jeepney he is driving. That's why he's disappointed with another 1 peso increase on the price of diesel that took effect today. He said his 300 peso earnings per day will be reduced again. With a series of increases in petroleum products, drivers are now asking for help from the government. But the Department of Transportation assured that the distribution of fuel subsidy is already being studied and it is possible that drivers will receive a higher subsidy this year from the 3 billion pesos budget. This is through the Bayaning Chuper program of the government where the delivery riders, motorcycle taxis, buses, chips, UV Express and even taxis can receive the subsidy. Pinag-aaralan lang maigi ng ating kagawaran at gayon din ng LTFRB kung gagawin natin itong one or two tranches. Dahil mahaba pa ang taon, hindi natin masabi kung uh, tataas ulit ang uh, uh, presyo ng produktong petrolyo itong third at saka fourth quarter. But Chipley Group says it is better for such financial assistance to be given directly to the driver and not to the operator. Ito nga nga magiging problema nga ng iba natin mga operator ay ginawa nila ang card at dahil sila nag-iing kasta to start sa supposed to be ang card ay ibibigay ng operator sa driver. Sa pagkat pinabound na rin sila ng mga driver pati ang gasod ang crudo ang nagbabayad ng driver. Ngayon, yun ang isa ang mga pinapakilusap at uh, yung ibang hindi mga nakakoy. According to the LTFRB, the guidelines for distribution are still being studied. Distribution of the subsidy will also depend on crude oil cost, reaching at least $80 per barrel. The DOTR clarified that it is possible to still have free rides this year, but not all routes and public vehicles, and it will only be supported by the fair discount in other mode and routes. Maaring magkaroon ng libreng sakay sa isang lugar at uh, diskwento naman sa iba, at yung tinatawag nating net service contracting. Atin dapat tandaan na ang intensyon ng service contracting ay masiguro na laging may uh, available na public transportation at any given time, at any uh, location para may ataas natin yung uh, level of service na tinatawag sa public transport. Karen Villanda for The Nation.